Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 6 of my tutorial for Songs of 6 version 63. So today we are going to go into the clothing industry. So we're going to set up all the necessities and we're going to build it up and I'm going to talk about what it does for your, for your city. So in a nutshell we could have done that already a while ago. It is absolutely okay to forego your metal production and for the sake of a clothing production it's up to you how you want to set it up i personally i love setting up my metal production in the first hand so fertilities here aren't looking that sweet anymore we don't have any really good spots left over all the really good spots have been taken already by our industry so we are going to go this time for a less than optimal spot I'm going to introduce a couple of little things that you can't do still that I wanted to talk bef uh, about before, but whatever, there's always some good reason. So as you see here, we're uh, not really getting the best out of our area here anymore, but in all honesty, 61 person gets the job done as well. So here again, we need cotton. So by now we, we will just order that stuff. Uh, but as you see here, it's costier than other materials. So what we can do here is we can also dig a canal. So if you dig some water left and right around your um, arms, I don't know if this trick still works, but back then, a few versions ago, this was increasing the fertility because it counts as an irrigation. Not sure if this effect has been removed or not though, with all those changes. Because here is no more irrigation uh, spot there, because there was irrigation back then. Anywho, so that is, of course, only one part of the deal. We need there to make actually clothing a weaver. So, uh, no, actually, no. We need the weaver, and then we need the tailor. So, the weaver is the person who makes fabric out of that cotton and that cotton that fabric can then be again transformed into clothing so here goes the thing weaver is a 400 tech cost building so it ain't that much of a big investment so here we go here i'm going to go with the same logic as before it's going to to be in the vicinity of my farm because that's where i already got the infrastructure we're going to set it up a little bit longer than this here we go just want to make sure that we got all we need and by now i don't think i need to explain anything about these workshops anymore we all know by now how they work and i'll leave it up to you dear audience how you want to set them up and we're just going to go for something like 50-ish. 50-ish is, by the way, my personal favorite of uh, um, of workforce in one building. I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good amount to uh, manage. But well, I don't know. I think there is no real correct or incorrect uh, number here. So, just uh, cranking up the efficiency quickly to 100%. There we go. I think we could have hosted a couple of uh, workspaces more in here, but whatever. So, the weaver will transform that stuff into fabric. Fabric, then again, can be transformed into clothing, but that's not all you can do with fabric. First off, let's uh, set up quickly the, the crates for this. So, for cotton some for fabric, and some for clothing. There we go. So, now goes the tailor. Ironically enough, the tailor is a workshop that we got unlocked right from the get-go. Also, you might ask yourself, that's because you can tailor clothing out of leather right from the get-go. So, that's basically one option for you to to forego what we're doing here, basically. Er, sorry, that didn't work out as intended. I want to have my building just like that. Or, yeah. 
or making it as narrow as the other one. Here, these are just uh, personal design choices, you know? Nothing really, really important. So, the fabric is not only used for clothing, it can also be used for your, um, or upgrading housing. That's one thing that you can't do with uh, fabric. And it also makes up, of course, a nice, uh, a nice good for trade's sake. But I, well, with all the changes in between, I can't, uh, I cannot surely say, but there was once a, uh, <laughs> a, there were once a few buildings that required fabric also as um, a main material for the building purposes, but I don't know how much that's a thing anymore, because housing worked a lot different way back when. We had flat houses once that basically were working like uh, barracks to live at. People just uh, grabbed themselves a room there and uh, then they, they were there, but it was more like a hotel. Nowadays the housing is a permanent housing, but the, the old housing was a little bit weirder than that. So, there we go. As soon as we have enough money back available, we're definitely going to buy the remaining uh, cotton that we need. In the meantime, we're uh, setting up the other buildings here. This is all quite costly in terms of wood, so I just keep uh, chopping those trees. Here, by the way, I would normally, in every other city i would already build most of my buildings out of stone i just don't do that because the Cretonians they, they do like it this way they love wooden buildings they dislike stone buildings and therefore i'll keep it wood and that's why just in case you were wondering why i do this to myself you know because it's uh, quite obvious that wood is not really our strongest suit here In the meantime, I have a strong drain of workforce, but that's also because a lot of people were dying or went insane. <laughs> Lovely. Alright. But apart from that, our industries are kicking, uh, kicking out quite good. We do need now, though, in the long run, a second lab. Because we are now at the limit of all productivity here. So I'm going to set that up already. You see, here we are at 64 workers and that means we cannot increase anymore. But we do need an increase in science points quite badly, quite soon. So I'm I'm putting this on the on the tab as well, you know. Why not keep your folks quite busy? All right, finally, the last uh, cotton can be bought. And here you can pretty nicely see how the AI of this game works. Oddly enough, your citizens, they have a passion for fulfilling the last issued job first. So uh, if you want to get things done real quick, make sure that the thing that you need the most is going to be the last thing you order. Oddly enough, it works out like that quite nicely. All right. So we had an accident with 35 wounded people. That was a pretty, pretty big accident. Sadly, I don't have a hospital yet, so people are dying from that accident uh, wave. This is something that's uh, rather new-ish, you know? In all the versions, we haven't had that behavior. And here we go. So as you see here, we're also racking up that metal. And now we got minus workers again. So let's see how that comes together. So, well, I bet the, well, this is one of those really, really ungrateful situations to be in where you have to decide 
Oh, this place has degradation. We need another janitor. So here, the janitor's reach is no longer uh, sufficient there. Whenever your buildings look like uh, like that, like uh, all dirty and uh, grizzled up, it's usually a sign that you require another janitor. But that doesn't help me here. So one really good thing that you always can do when you're um, when you're low on workers, just um, unemploy your war workers first. Especially when that industry is rather new, there is no bigger downside to, uh, to cutting their workforce low. That cotton farm though, I cannot afford to lose a single worker there. This is so important for me. Because now we are again at that point where we need to increase our productivity to make sure that we keep new people, you know? We need new services. And one of the services that we're currently working on is maybe sec is clothing. And therefore, we're going to do our best to fulfill that. Here I allow them to be on auto employ, but I stop that on zero. Here's the same deal. Here though, take care, clothing industry should be working on fabric first. Oh gosh, it's that thing again, eh? So we need to... So... Give me a sec, that's uh... do I need? That's also a new thing, you know. Technology, fine clothing. All right. So I'm very sorry about these things. Uh, this is uh, for me something, you know, we, we haven't had these back then. Here, fine clothing. All right. So here we obviously need to upgrade our tailors first and uh, research this here, but that's okay. I got the tech down. So these are all um, pointers that we actually could have had it a lot earlier up and running. That's uh, definitely something to say here. Alrighty, but the most important thing to note is now that we're currently only waiting for that cotton to be harvested and all, and then we will be... Oh, who's hawking all those workers again? I bet it's the lab. Yes. So... Go. I have this lab, uh, extra lab only as a uh, precaution, not as something that I want to take into action immediately. I love to have an extra lab available, or for good for future uh, for for future good measure, <laughs> so to say. Alrighty, so here we go. Canteen number two has been opened. And uh, people have the worst disease of them all again. Here, up there, we could require a new hearth. And we're out of wood again. Oh no. Oh, I hope people won't die again like crazy. This is something that uh, I, I really am not used to. Please don't freeze to death all again. Oh dear. Yeah, there, uh, there are a couple of people dying from the cold yet again. But luckily, this time we got sort of a uh, steady wood income. Oh gosh, or so I thought. Nah, they're all freezing their asses. <laughs> their uh, backs off. Sorry. Um, yeah, I, I personally dislike that new mechanic a lot because it's just way too discreet. I'd, I'd need a, a larger marker for... Yo, dude, your people are in danger. You don't have enough fuel. Something like that. Seriously, this is... Uh... Jeez, how many people did die again? Yeah, this sucks. Gotta say, this is... Uh... Extremely unfun, alright? Sorry to, uh, to leave that here. But, uh... Certainly something that I need to to emphasize here 
Alright, but whatever. It's, uh, you know, bumps like these, they happen. They happen. Although I gotta say, this, uh, this cold thing does feel... Well... Whatever. I don't want to mutter about it uh, anymore. I, I leave that just to the dear audience to, uh... To keep yourself an own opinion about that. And just settle somewhere warmer if it does bother you as much as it does me. Bother me. So, uh, yeah. Accident. Alright, but by now, those uh, industries here are slowly in motion. That's good. So basically, I cut down on my workers here to make sure that I can still keep the basics of the cotton farm running, but at the same time keep all the other stuff uh, busy, you know, because we're going to be really in trouble if we get unable to cut those trees and uh, carry the fuel to the hearths where it is actually required. That is where we will die if that happens, so I did my best to stop that. Okay, but now back to the actual topic. Our city will slowly recover from that, promise, and we're just going to continue where we left off. So here, well, the industry here is very, very slowly going, but here, this is yet another excess thing. You know, we got this meter, and it's going to slowly fill up now. Very, very slowly. So I really know what I'm talking about when I when I say it like that. The thing here is that uh, your people, they grab their clothing, but it's also worth mentioning that this uh, clothing, it, it will go bad eventually. It'll, it, it'll get uh, worn off and uh, all these things. So in a nutshell, this clothing industry does always require new clothing for your folks. So the aim is to oversupply in a way that here you will slowly have a buildup of these materials and then you can decide if you want to give your folks access to more layers of clothing because you know they can wear more clothing at once basically in a nutshell and that means your first job is to supply enough clothing for your folks that they just can uh, have their first layer covered by the way buying some uh, materials for the repair because i do realize i'm out of clay and then you're just trying to uh, get enough of that clothing into either more layers or you use it for other things i'm gonna talk about that once it's time for that you can do more with clothing. If I remember correctly, you can even make armor out of it, but I'm, I gotta check out how it works these days, you know? So many things have been changed up. So I want to buy myself some tools for the sake of repairs. And speaking about repairs, this new janitor here will now repair the coal mine. This is a very, very important in so far as with degradation, the buildings will ultimately fall off in efficiency. A degraded building is less efficient than a building that's in good shape. So degradation lowers your income. Therefore, you know, just try to keep degradation as long as possible. Alrighty, so let's make sure that we spread our people again a little bit. I want that metal production running again. So you will notice at several points in your run that you'll have to juggle your, your populace a little bit back and forth. This is uh, perfectly normal. This is nothing to be worried about. Sometimes it is just necessary to shut down parts of your industries to uh, fire up other parts of your industries again. We've all been there, done that. The next big step forward for us will be to have enough metal to afford some upgrades here. Because currently our city is 
pretty much well occupied. Let's call it occupied with all the things. As you see here, my, my random workforce is very, very low. I am constantly grabbing up what, whatever I can in terms of uh, immigrants to make sure that my workshops have enough people. But at the same time, slowly but steadily, the situation here is increasing. As you see here, people get happier with uh, fulfillment of desires and pretty soon the excess to extra uh, clothing will also pay off here well sometimes songs of six has these uh, bumps where your city is developing way slower than it usually was it often happens after a mistake just like uh, my mistake there of not having enough wood on the stockpile or it is just part of uh, of your current phase or what also happens quite often it is the result of well small design design mistakes let's call it like that for example you have to employ too many janitors or you have to employ too many uh warehouse monkeys or or whatever these little things they can all lead to a slowdown in your development don't worry when that happens if it ever happens that you feel like i i need now for example 10 more scientists but I can't find them anywhere and there's no more people coming into my city then it is time to check out if you can increase the fulfillment meters and if you are able to cut down a tad bit. In the worst case shut down an industry that you personally don't find that super important at the current moment like for example here back when uh, when disaster struck the first thing that i did was shutting down the metal industry because that was uh, at that point the least important one it is uh, i i put it in such abstract terms because you know when disaster strikes there is no one size fits all solution it's always about what has happened why did it happen and uh, what's your next step that you want to get yourself to so therefore i hope you get the, uh, you i hope you get my point there anyways enough of the rambling we're uh, we're making wonderful progress here the auto employment of new people is working out as intended as you see here i'm currently always uh, filling up the city with more people and i'm now waiting for two things first off I want my science to go one th to hit 1,200 points, and the other thing is I want my metal to have 80 units, 80-ish units, because yeah, yeah, 88. We want to upgrade our labs now. So lab upgrades are really, really important and so far, as they allow us to increase the productivity of our labs tremendously. So. Upgrades are, in general, a very, very important and uh, desirable thing in this game. I'll just buy that uh, remaining metal. So we have again a outbreak of a disease here. These disease outbreaks and the heightened frequency of these is something also pretty unique to the newest version of Songs of Six. We haven't had that many in the past. All right. So with that now available, we're going to research now here, knowledge, improved lab. So this tech costs 1000 tech points. That's why I wanted to wait. And now we're just going to upgrade it there. And as you can see here, it is also a visual upgrade. So the power here of this place is now, I think here, we have now 111% of uh, productivity here. And here we have now 176% of productivity. 50% increase. The next uh, increase will be when we have machinery and metal available. And basically we want to do this of course now for the lab number two, but as well. But this one isn't as important because we have not so many workers in here. So. With that, we got now access to new technologies. You might or might not have noticed that my food stockpiles are not looking as, as happy as I'd like them to look like. So there's a couple of things up ahead of us, but yeah. 
there always is. So the cotton and uh, fabric industry is slowly running uh, hot here. As you see, we're slowly getting our stuff together. Here the tailor is constantly not operational because of a lack of fabric. That's, if you look here, it is all about a lack of processed cotton, but the AI will now slowly increase the amount of workers in here very gradually. You could do that by hand if you'd wanted to, but I personally am totally okay with uh, the situation here. Totally. Just given it time, and uh, well, if you check it out here, we're slowly increasing the equipment meter here as well. And that's by the way the reason why I am never rushing this uh, this part of the game too much because I feel like the impact of clothing is more of a um, slow and steady thing in the background because we we do require so much effort here to get something out of that as you can clearly see it does take a while it does take a lot of workers and at that point i always feel like yeah well you know employing these same amount of people into the metal industry gives me way more of a feeling of progress that's just why i do how i do things it's not not wrong at all though to uh to rush more towards the clothing industry comparatively like I do okay so when you notice like I notice here that your food industry starts to dwindle a little bit technology can come to the rescue so we're going to increase our fishery methods here that's increasing the income of fisheries and uh, we're also going to let's see bakery can be upgraded as well but I'm not that interested in that currently currently more interested in that way cheaper upgrade let's see oh all right it's, uh, there is no more cheap upgrade when it comes down to bread eh? all right so uh yeah many of these tech trees have been changed i'm sorry for the incoherence here at times so upgraded the fishery for more productivity upgrading the pasture for more productivity i personally like these because it's a low cost high increase bump here's the same thing i'm increasing the crop technologies because this way my farms will also yield more food and now we're just going to wait a year or so and see if the numbers bump up enough or not if not we need to either do more tech upgrades or set up more buildings for food production We'll see about that. Okay, but I'd say, well, there's one last thing for today's episode. So, um, here, the textile production or fabric production isn't so far very interesting as we can in the future provide textiles slash fabrics to our housing. And this will really, really make a big difference because they're, you know, the access to to powerful housing materials is a very very nice way of uh, amping up the happiness of your folks but you might already notice it is a very very worker intense uh, process here you know we're uh, slowly cranking up the numbers and we're nowhere near close uh, to satisfying the needs of the city but as you see here the food production is bumping up just like I wanted anywho I think this is has been a pretty okay introduction into the uh, topic as you as I want to note here one more time at the beginning of the game you can also utilize leather production to, to create clothing I personally like to export my leather for the sake of an early income and for and stall out the, the clothing production until this point of the game okay Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave me your comment down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and consider subscribing. I'd be delighted if you did. And of course, there is also a playlist link down there leading you to the entirety of this series. I have nothing more to say except for thanks for watching and hope to see you next time as well. Bye bye.